In 2012, Aquavolve LLC was established to accomplish one thing, provide water to all people at all times in all the places where water is in short supply. Birthed in the great United States of America with footprints in at least seven African countries and growing, Aquavolve isn't going to stop until there's pure, clean drinking water for everyone who needs it wherever they may be. Aquavolve's establishment in Lagos, Nigeria is regarded as one of the company's boldest steps yet on the African continent. Aquavolve's mission is to create water independence by creating economies of water through atmospheric water generation technology. With the Big Blue 1,500 liter per day and the Big Blue 5,000 liter per day atmospheric water generators, Aquavolve's water intervention industrial lineup is beyond formidable. Aquavolve prides itself with some of the most efficient and internationally certified atmospheric water generators until date. With our flagship domestic unit known as Fountain Royale, we have taken our atmospheric water generation intervention to a whole new unbeatable height. At any given time, there are some 31,000 cubic miles of water in the atmosphere at any given time. In other words, the highest reservoir of water on Earth is not in the oceans, it is in the atmosphere. And so that water in the atmosphere, we get access to it most of the time, especially with our machine, through the humidity in the air. So and what I'm going to do today is to show you how this machine actually taps into this huge reservoir of water in the atmosphere and then produces something that is so delicious, so pure, that, I mean, it, it either meets or exceeds World Health Organization uh, or standard for clean drinking water. So I will tell you, let me just walk you through the process of how our machine produces water. So basically, with the regular water dispensers, you notice that they have a hole where you put the bottles and all of that. So this machine doesn't have that. So as soon as you buy this machine, it, it's pretty much set and ready to go. You know, just cut it from the cartons, remove all the other things, pull up the whole, you know, covering and the cellophane and the nylon, and then you have your machine. Maybe the only thing you're probably going to see not attached is probably going to be this tray here. And it's just, it's pretty easy to fix. You just pick it up and all you need to do is you fix it over there it's like magnetic very easy to fix you do it this way and you fix it and it goes it stays there excellent as your machine is ready to go and so i'll tell you exactly so you know exactly what what you're buying i'll show you how it produces the water so we're right here right now there's ambient air all over that's why we are able to breathe there's so much air there is humidity in this place there's temperature in this place and so what this machine does is that it pulls the air the ambient air it draws it in through this air vent right here okay but when it takes the air into this place uh, this place something actually happens and i'm going to show you that so first of all i'm going to pull this whole thing out so i can get you to understand exactly what happens with this machine it's pretty 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 amazing very interesting so the air is here and air goes in here this air filter right here is what stops every dust or whatever it is that might want to go into the machine it stops over here and that's why we always advise people to clean this at least weekly every week to make sure that it stays clean all the time so it goes through here and when it comes in through there, the air doesn't stop there. It goes to another patient. Um, okay, so this is fixed. It goes in here and brings it to this coil right here. So this is the coil that cools that air to dew point. When it cools it to dew point, of course, you know what happens. It it's, it's becomes water. It converts into water. And that water suddenly just begins to drop in something that we call the collection tray. You see that? So when the water drops on this tray, you see there's a hole here. The water doesn't stay on the tray. It drops on the tray and then it gets, it exits through this tiny hole here. But when it exits through this hole, where does it go? The bottom tank. This is the warehouse, the storage house of all the water. And inside the bottom tank, I'll tell you a few things that are here. That hole that is on that tray, it's aligned with this particular location. And here, that's where the water drops before it goes into the tank. 
And now, do you know why the water drops here? It drops here because this is called the mesh cup filter. In the mesh cup filter, you have, it contains zeolite and active carbon. And so it's more like saying natural sand, almost like natural sand. So it's just like, for instance, saying that you're getting water that is coming from the rocks. Beyond simulating nature, the mesh filter serves as a huge second step in the eight-step filtration process of this machine, trapping impurities that may have escaped the collection tray. This tank doesn't rely only on this one to deal with any kind of impurity. We have an active ultraviolet light bulb that is inside the same tank at the same time. So both of them get to deal with whatever comes. So from here, it takes the journey. This is water journey, movement of water. It embarks on the journey and goes through all these filters here. So you have pre-carbon, post-carbon, TCR filter, and reverse osmosis. Okay, what you're looking at here is a fairly robust filtration process right here. I don't know anything, any water that goes through these guys and still stays impure, never. So this is it, it goes through here. And then after all this is done, it now continues with its journey all the way down to the final destination, which is where the collection big tank upstairs is. So it is in this tank here, from here, that the water is dispensed, you know, for the pleasure of the guy or the woman who owns this beautiful baby right here. So from here as well, you find out that we also have an ultraviolet light treatment bulb inside here. Look at all the process. Treatment at the bottom tank, filtration through the filters, and right on here again, we still have ultraviolet light treatment. So we have ultraviolet light treatment mounted everywhere to ensure that the water you get out is 100% pure natural alkaline water. Our Fountain Royal Atmospheric Water Generator is a plug-in use equipment. We however advise that if you live in a country where electricity supply isn't consistent, you should avoid plugging the machine directly, but use a surge protector. Upon plugging the machine to power source, water generation takes effect immediately. The process of dispensing, setting your machine, you know, everything is, you see this beautiful LED here. Um, it's all touch screen, beautiful, attractive stuff. But then I'm just gonna let you know what all the buttons here stand for. Uh, first of all, uh, the machine tells you hello. All right. The next thing you see is relative humidity and it's talking about the relative humidity in this place right now. What the humidity is saying is 62%, which is pretty impressive. Now, the temperature in this room now is 34 degrees Celsius. Now, UV1 means ultraviolet light bulb 1, UV2 ultraviolet light bulb 2, UV3 is ultraviolet light bulb 3. Now, here you see four letterings, four writings here. The other one says filtering, heating, cooling, and generating, all right? And now here, down here, you see hot lock mode set and code. And I'll tell you how all these things work, what they mean. Now, let's start with uh, hot and lock. Lock here is a red key that is unlocked, okay? And this is hot, that means you can see a cup, a red cup that has hot under it. What it means is that we do not, this machine has children in mind because if you did not put a lock for the hot water, kids can go in there straight up and just dispense water and hurt themselves. So the only way to stop that from happening is that they place this lock here. So before you dispense hot water, you have to press the hot lock until you hear a sound. You hear the sound. As soon as the sound comes, then this one begins to blink. The hot cup begins to blink. And when it blinks, it means that you're ready to dispense your hot water. Okay, that's, that's it, but there's no water in there yet. So uh, cold water, you don't need to go through, through any lock because that's not harmful. So all you need to do, just press and hold. And instantly, you can see water, water will begin to drop here. So we're left with just the mode and the set. The mode here is where you set everything you want your machine to do for you. You use this mode to select what item that you want to set and then you use the set symbol to set it to whatever. But for instance, this machine um, produces hot and cold water at the same time. But what the machine, the option the machine gives to you is that you can set your hot water 
to whatever temperature you want it to be and you can also set your cold water to whatever temperature you want it to be so i want us to go through that process let me show you how that works okay so you press and hold okay it says standby is off meaning that the machine is active and then you press it and hold again it says reset that's not what you want to do you press and hold again temperature is in Celsius not in Fahrenheit okay and then you keep going okay there's 18 okay AWG is on atmospheric water generator is on and right now I don't know if you can see that the machine is already generating okay on okay 33 and so cold is 0 5 degrees Celsius I just put it to 6 I just put it to 7, 10, 8, 9, and 10, and goes back to 4 again, and then we move on. Hot is 031, and how do I set my heart? My heat is on 80 degrees Celsius. I want it to go to 90, and I set, I set, I set, 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 set. It comes to 90, and then you move on from there, and you press the mode, and it moves you to, the, it says heat is on. Okay, do you know that heat can be off? I just put the heat off. I set it again and heat is on. So if I put the heat off, the heat is not going to dispense any hot water. Okay, standby. So, so that's basically how we want. Everything you want, you press the mode and what, whatever you want to do with that, whatever you have put, the mode gives you, you can go to set and, you know, set it to that, you know, level. So when the machine starts generating, what happens is that the generating sign here begins to flash like it is happening right now. It simply means that right now, because there's no water in the machine, it's already generating. When it's done generating, the next thing you're going to see flash on your screen is going to be filtering. It starts filtering the water and then it begins to flash. And then after that, you're going to see heating and cooling. When it starts cooling, when it starts heating, the thing begins to flash. It shows you which one. And then when you have any ultraviolet light bulb that is not functioning, it always shows you from here. Please note that the first batch of water generated might taste a little salty due largely to the usual first time smell come on with brand new products fresh out of the factory. This initial slightly salty water hasn't harmed anybody but we advise you empty it out using the hot and cold water faucet provided. And then enjoy the pure natural goodness of alkaline water from our fountain royale. The upper tank of this machine is inbuilt. With the aid of your manual, you will learn how and when it's appropriate to clean the upper tank. And when you do, evacuating the water is made easy with a cold water vent located at the lower back corner of the machine. What you need to do is just open this up, unscrew this part. You know, this is where the top tank uh, vent is. And when you pull this out, you will notice that water is going to start coming out instantly. So instead of letting it pour, you can just plug this in. As long we have, we can give, we, your machine comes with this. So we give you a lot of this, a very long one. You can take it to anywhere and just let it out and the water will just be dispensed, okay? So that's basically what it is, you know, that's hot water. So this is how you can take water out of the machine and keep your machine running. Another advice we give to people who have this machine is you should be in the habit of always cleaning this tray because you know already that the water that gets condensed from the atmosphere cannot there's no amount of impurity that can become water from the air that if anything is impure that has to drop it collects right here on top of this tank so or this tray so what you need to do is you should form the habit of cleaning this one always clean it up clean it very well and use only water don't use soap to clean this just use clean water it's easy to remove it so whatever collects here is almost like dust so you just use on ordinary clean water to you know cleanse it and then put it right back moving this machine around abruptly when the tank is filled with water can cause leakage leaked water is collected in a special cap underneath the machine when that cap is filled with leaked water the machine indicates leak detected how it appears on your screen is l-e-a-k and then d-e-t that means leak is detected when you see that the moment that happens the machine doesn't function very well anymore it, it doesn't even cool anything it just gives you room temperature water so in order to stop that from happening or to to just take care of that you don't need to panic all you need to do you don't even need to call any technician you know you come to the back here there is something 
right over here is a cap that covers you know so all you need to do all you need to do is put your hand under here unscrew it and look at it you just bring it out it means that the water here is full so all you need to do you pour it away and you fix that stuff right back here and turn your machine back on and the leak detected disappears and your machine is working very fast. Another interesting function of this amazing machine is its ability to mimic nature. In nature, water recycles itself constantly to retain its natural taste and qualities. This machine does exactly that. When the tank is full and water is not dispensed for some minutes, the machine takes its generated water through the filtration process all over again and repeats this every few minutes, just so that at any given time, there's fresh natural tasting water in the dispenser. So this is our atmospheric water generator. We're making this video to make your trip, to reduce your trip to this manual, all right? But it doesn't mean that you can't make trips here. You have to always hold your manual and read through it and find out things that we may not have covered in the video. It is so advisable that you hold your manual and read through it to check some other things. But then beyond that, we also want to let you know that if there's anything that you encounter that is too difficult for you to comprehend or to understand or to fix, our Volvo LLC technicians are always on standby to respond no matter where you are, no matter what the situation is. We don't want our customers to go through any stress. We encourage you to do this, but we are also more than able to take care of whatever the situation may be.